In this video, I'll show you how to download and install OBS and give you a quick setup guide as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up an internet browser and I'm using Google Chrome and then you need to go to a search engine. And then all you need to do is go and search for something called OBS project as this is where OBS is hosted and we can go download it from. So when you type that in, make sure you go to the official website, which is obsproject.com. Here we are. And then once it loads, as you can see, we've got OBS Studio, which is our main software. So you need to go and choose the right download for your operating system. In this case, we're using Windows. So I'm going to go and press on Windows and this works with Windows 10 and 11 and any future versions of Windows as well. Then once you press that button, the download will begin. Now every browser is slightly different, but with Google Chrome, it puts its downloads in the bottom corner. So if you're using a different browser and you can't see your download in your browser, then all you need to do is go and open up File Explorer and go to the Downloads folder and you'll be able to find all of your downloads there. So once this is finished, I'm just gonna go and drag it onto my desktop so you guys can just see what I'm doing. Um, but otherwise you just need to go and open up your downloads folder and then you can come and close off of your search browser just like so. Once you've found the installer, then all you need to do is double click on it. As I said before, it's pretty likely that it's in your downloads folder. Then when you go and double click on it, you're going to go and get a Windows security pop-up. You just have to go and allow this app to go and make changes to your device while it installs. Then you're gonna get this page here and let's just go through the installer. Then after pressing next, we take into the license information and make sure you read through it. I already have and then go and press next again. And then we can go and install it. Make sure you're happy with the destination folder. Um, if you're not, just press browse and find a new location. But I am and I'm gonna go and press install and it's now installing. So sit back and relax while it installs. And once it's finished, it's going to go and say completed setup and I'm gonna go and select launch OBS and it's gonna automatically launch. And here we are on OBS. When you go and first start it, it's actually gonna go and auto configure it for you. So you need to go and select what you want to go and use the program for. So in my case, I'm gonna be recording, but if you're streaming, select that. I'm just going to select the option, then press next. And then it's gonna go and ask you a bit of information. So I'll quickly explain this to you now. So the base canvas is what the OBS preview screen is gonna look like. That isn't actually what you're recording as, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, and then for the FPS, honestly, 30 or 60 is fine. If you've got a bit of a faster computer, I'd recommend using 60, but 30 is in general fine. I'm gonna use that. Then go and press next. And then we've got this option here. Now I do recommend actually, we'll go and edit these in a moment. Then just go and press apply settings and boom, it's now set up some basic settings, which we can now go and change. So I'm now just gonna go and close off this note here. And what you want to do, just go and press on settings and we'll quickly finish configuring these settings. So you shouldn't need to do much in the general page. So what you want to do is go to the left-hand side panel here and go and press on output. And in output, I recommend just keeping it on the mode on simple as that covers everything you need to go and do. And we've got two options here. So we've got the streaming and recording settings. So I would just recommend configuring these separately as they do sort of repeat themselves because they're, they're sort of separate processes. The main thing I recommend doing is if you have an AMD or NVIDIA graphics card, make sure you go and use their hardware um, encoder. As you can see, we've got the option for recording and streaming, but if you don't have them, that's fine. Just go and use software X264. Then for the recording format, I recommend using MP4 and then come back to the left hand side panel and go and press on audio. And then make sure you set your correct microphone under the mic and auxiliary audio option here. And you can go and add other mics as well. Then come back to the panel and go and press on video. And for here, I'll quickly explain what this means. As I said before, the base canvas resolution doesn't matter. This is this area here when it just sort of is a preview. What you really need to take note of is the output scaled resolution. This is actually what you're recording and streaming in. So if you're recording, I recommend 1080p, but if you're streaming, 720p is fine if you've got a slower internet connection. For the FPS as well, honestly, 30 or 60 is fine. Once again, this is gonna depend on your internet connection and your computer speed. If you've got a fast internet connection and a, and a fast computer, then 60 FPS is gonna be better. But if, it is, if it's slower, your internet and your computer, then go and lower it. A lot of these settings are gonna to need to be tested. So if your computer lags, just go and decrease things like the FPS and the output's goal resolution. Then that's literally all the settings. All you need to do is press apply and open press okay. Quickly show you how to use scenes and sources. So we've already got a scene here, but you can go and create a new one by pressing this plus button and then naming this. So I'll name this recording just like so, and then press okay. And then under sources, go and press the plus button. And this is where you can add things like your webcam um, and your display capture as well. So go and select display capture um, and then we can go and press okay. And then you can go and choose the monitor you want to go and record. So in this case, I want to go and record my main monitor here. So I'm gonna go and press okay. And it's a bit big because of the size of the monitor. So I'm gonna go, go and use the red lines to go and make it a bit smaller. And there you go. All you need to do is press start recording and you can go and record. 
press on this plus button again and you can go and add things like your webcam by using a video capture device.